I feel a little bit like I did the other night, the different kind of different pace of game and everything else, but it was just a, a, a slugfest. And, and uh, you know, if you watch Syracuse this weekend, I mean, they're like the Terminator. You just can't kill them. You know, you, you think they're dead. You've, you've, you know, you've shot them, and then there they are right on your tail again. Uh, so, you know, I give them a lot of credit. But, but certainly I thought our guys just, just played the whole weekend with a lot of, uh, of, of moxie, you know. Um, just, just made tough plays. We're unafraid, uh, and 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 uh, you know we scored goals in a lot of different ways over the course of this weekend, and that's something we've prided ourselves on all all year, and it, it certainly paid off this weekend. Like I said, I, I couldn't be more proud of the, of the, the. I just thought our guys played with so much courage and 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 fearlessness this weekend. Um, you know, we didn't play tentatively like a team that's kind of afraid to, that, that that you know, not sure what's going to happen to them and everything else. We just played like a team that was going to go out and do everything they could to try to win games. Sometimes we were really good, and sometimes we weren't. Um, you know, I would have liked to have had about four of those layups in the second half back, um, but. Uh, you know, just like the other night, we'd like to have some of those clears back and everything. But the one thing was, no matter what happened, you know, good play, bad play, we turned right around, uh, focused on the next play, and played really hard and, and really fearlessly uh, to, to make the next play. Uh, can you kind of take us through those last 30 seconds? Um, yeah, it was kind of deja vu of uh, Friday night. With uh, I mean, we're tied in Friday, but up one, we knew they were gonna. Uh, get a shot off, um, and I uh, just try to be ready for it when it when it's come because they have they can score in a lot of different ways, um, and yeah, I just try to stay ready for everything. Desco said you definitely made a save there, but it wasn't on the sheet. Did you make the save at the end? Yeah, yeah, I caught it in my stick. Yeah, <laughs> and then I ran out with it. I think. <laughs> yeah, he had a he had a. I, I don't know how they have him down for zero saves in the fourth <laughs> quarter. They weren't watching the same game yeah, I was. Boy. I can tell you that. I don't know who did those stats. Matt, uh, John Desco said last time you guys played Syracuse that Syracuse had their best defensive game of the year. Uh, what did you think of, of you guys scored 15 goals today? How do you think they played against uh, you and especially Mullins? I know yourself so good. Um, yeah, he's a great defender. Uh, I think in the first game, um, I wasn't really recognizing the, the second slide coming, uh, coming from behind. So um, I was really, really aware today of just moving it, uh, not really holding on to it and picking my spots. Uh, when it was a good time to go, and uh, we had a re really good two-man two -man game with the with the short sticks. Um, so I guess he got kind of confused on some. So I just uh, I just tried to attack in uh, some good situations. I don't think so. No, I don't think that had any uh, impact on how we shot or how we were looked at Syracuse as a team. Uh, it was going to be a tough game anyway, but. Uh, there, La Molinera um, came in and made some great saves. So um, yeah, no, we didn't we didn't really uh, change anything. Uh, coach and Connor, you guys were able to hold Syracuse scoreless for something like 14 minutes in that third quarter. Were there any adjustments you guys made to do that, or how were you able to really frustrate them? Uh, you know, I, I said this uh, the other night after playing Maryland. Um, you know, back to back games when you're in your seventh quarter in the last three weeks against a team, um, y you should have some success, you know? I mean, you, you, you really should start to, to not figure them out, but, but get more comfortable with the decisions that you're going to have to make. Of course, you still have to make them against their excellent players, and, and, and they're very good at, at seeing what you're doing. I mean, I, I really felt like they did three different things over the course of the day within what they do, adjusting to what we were, what we were taking away. Um, you know, that's, that's a good, smart, well-coached team, so. Um. Matt, what did, you, what did you think made your offense so effective that you know, they didn't seem to think you guys could score that many goals? Um, I mean, I, we, we knew we could score that many goals, uh, and we scored them in so many different ways on the man up uh, transition uh, from Jack Near and the other D-middies uh, coming up, uh, even settled six on six, so. Face-offs. Face-offs, too. We were battling on the wings, so. Yeah, I mean, we we scored in so many different ways today, so it's hard to stop every every part of the game. Kind of what's it like to do it here in Philly, just down the road from where you grew up? 
Uh, yeah, that's definitely awesome. Uh, me and Liam went to Hereford, so uh, not quite Chester, but still Philadelphia. So it's always nice to come home and play in front of a hometown crowd. Uh, it was definitely made it special for Liam. Did you get to go home and do anything while you're here? Or uh, no, not a chance to go home. We had dinner at uh, the uh, Liam O'Connor's uh, house last night which and uh, practice at Hereford, which is nice to go back there, but uh, I didn't get a chance to go home. What was that like practicing back on your high school field? Uh, that was awesome too. Uh, relive the glory days. <laughs> <laughs> we may have him practice there once a week from here on. <laughs> Fine, man. How, how do you feel then going into, you know, it's only two days that you played really, really well, so how do you yeah, you know, we, I mean, we try not to talk about any result uh, as as a as a snapshot. You know what I mean? It's all part of a continuum of of the season, and 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 you know, we feel like we've been improving. We've been talking about it that our results haven't always reflected how well we think we've played at times, um, but the, but it it also did reflect that we need to get better. You know, and and need to make more plays. So, um, you know, we'll we'll take this just like we do every game and look at it and take the good, take the bad, and and hopefully uh, you know be be a better team. You know, Monday and Tuesday because of what we saw this weekend. Coach, uh, not to put a downer on your win, but Matt obviously wasn't in the starting lineup. Can you talk about? Yeah, I look. I love my guys, but they're but they're young guys and they make mistakes. And and I think uh, honestly, at the end of the day, you know, I'm the leader and and I have to make those decisions. But I think they'd be disappointed in me if I didn't make those decisions. Um, and so, that's all there is to say.